Hello everyone, I'm Chen Wei from Liaocheng People's Hospital. I'm going to discuss the risk of post-traumatic epilepsy of severe head injury in patients with at least one seizure. The purpose of this research was to analyze risk factors, including types of seizures for post-traumatic epilepsy in individuals with at least one seizure of severe traumatic brain injury and provide clues for intervention. This was a retrospective follow-up study of patients discussed from Liaocheng People's Hospital between March 2011 and June 2015 with a diagnosis of post-traumatic seizures. Risk factors for post-traumatic epilepsy were evaluated in 68 patients by using the copper markers and the Cox model. A total of 54 cases were diagnosed as pre-writing with post-traumatic epilepsy. The three figures to explain the probability of post-traumatic epilepsy as follows. As soon in Fig 1, the time means six months between injury and onset of seizures increased the probability of developing post-traumatic epilepsy compared with those greater than six months. As shown in Figure 2, the results show that the performance of single external puncture units or two or more surgeries increased the probability of developing post-traumatic epilepsy compared with more conservative treatments. The probability of developing post-traumatic epilepsy was highest for simple passive seizures, followed by complex passive seizures, and finally complex passive seizures secondary generalized as indicated in Figure 3. As shown in Tip 2, the Cox model indicated that for patients aged greater than 34 years at the time of injury, the post-traumatic epilepsy risk was 2.56 times greater than for those aged age 2 or less than 34 years. In addition, simple passing seizures, surgical treatment, and onset of seizures occurring within 6 months after injury were significant risk factors for the development of post-traumatic epilepsy.